Everyone likes the idea about generosity, but most of the time we like to be on the receiving end and the giving end. We all like, for some reason, to take rather than to give. I guess we all like the easy road than the hard road. One of the reasons I think we struggle with generosity is because we think that when we are giving, we're ending up with less. And this is not necessarily true. It seems like the givers in life are the, mo are the people that have the most. In terms of relationships, in terms of joy, in terms of peace, you interview a, a taker rather than a giver. Takers, people who take from people, take from the world, they tend not to be very happy. It's the gener generous people in the world that really find joy. If we take a grain of wheat, behind me there's a huge field, field and you just took a single grain and we asked it a few questions, I think it would know something about generosity. A grain of wheat knows that when it falls to the ground and gives itself and it dies, it gets way more back. The harvest behind me is a testimony to the seeds that gave their life before. And it's same with the spiritual realm. When we give to other people, we grow. Givers grow, takers don't. Can I ask you a few questions? In work, are you just doing enough just to get by so that you don't get fired? Or are you putting in and giving your excellence? Givers grow, takers don't. If we're a student, are we just trying to get by through school? We're slacking our way through. Are we giving our excellence to the studies that we have before us? Remember, givers grow, takers don't. Or if we find ourselves at home with our chores or with our duties that are required by our state of life, are we just kind of trying to get by doing the minimum? Are we giving our excellence? Saints are ones who give their best. They don't ask, how little can I get away with? But they ask, how much can I give? Remember, the saints in the history of our church, they were the givers. They weren't the takers.